Hello, my name is Ultra, and welcome back to an everything in between. Now, I'll be doing this for two shows. One is for Lucifer, and one is for the man in the high castle. I just finished watching that. Excited for the third season. Um, apparently, it's gonna be late this year, but I saw it like June, but like there was no links for it yet, so I'm just waiting for it. I uh, don't have Amazon, so in Malaysia so I, I don't know where to get it properly anyway um, but yeah this is for Lucifer uh, season 3 and um, for me Lucifer season 3 uh, essentially why I didn't react to those was because I I just forgot about the timing and everything I didn't you know do the lookups on like when is it scheduled and everything but um, for me I think it was a, a very interesting arc in that you know Lucifer is slow, slowly coming to terms that he does need um, uh, Decker in his life, uh, Chloe Decker at uh, that, um, and because you know when when everything uh, was laid out to him and you know Cain uh, betrayed uh, Chloe, uh, it was one of those things where you did have to understand why Lucifer is Lucifer in that way if I'm making any sense um, but uh, what was interesting is the two episodes after the finale and I wouldn't talk more about this because uh, it was such an interesting uh, you know envelopment of the character development itself and the first one is uh, for the proof of why Lucifer needed um, you know uh, Decker in his life um, and that's when you know uh, God changed everything up and that's more on the second episode as well but I think that is more as a statement of the proof of like if anything has if anything at one point changed like it wouldn't have changed their relationship at all like no matter what they'll meet up and I like those kind of uh, storylines um, and the introduction of Ezreal, uh, the the angel of death, I thought was an interesting one because usually, uh, the usually the depiction of Ezreal is is uh, a male figure, but this one they they played around with it. It was a female version, which I, I don't really mind. So I thought I thought that was definitely an interesting take on it, and it does seem like you know Lucifer and Azrael has had um, you know relationship whether it be intimate or not we're not sure of but I, I have a feeling it's more on the sibling side of it all um, but yeah I definitely definitely enjoyed uh, Lucifer um, as much as I enjoyed um, Gotham and I think you know, I would merge uh, Gotham and, and Lucifer together because, you know, there's such good shows together and, um, you know, Lucifer obviously is more on the, the spiritual side, whatever, but I, I definitely understand that, you know, um, Gotham is more towards the superhero side as well. Um, but yeah, in it, in itself, like I would parallel uh, Lucifer and, and Gotham to a point because like they're both uh, essentially police stories and what happened in, in Gotham was was more um, like everything breaking down and uh, you know Rajal Ghul uh, you know pointing like like the Joker and all that and now uh, you know Selena is in the hospital like I didn't expect that like as I said like in my review of uh, Gotham I, I, I never expected that to happen but um, you know one of the things I always I always look for in a show is its characters and I, I definitely think that with Gotham and Lucifer they really do plan out their uh, character development side so that's uh, definitely an interesting take for me so anyway yeah I, I, I definitely enjoyed um, Lucifer up to the end as well like the two extra episodes I know it was like a fluff episode more, more of like bonus episodes whatever they didn't really like plan it out or whatever because they thought it was gonna end there um, but yeah I, th I think we're gonna get this easy for for now but um, you know as expected it's it's all in the in the, in the balance um, and back to like my reactions and st other stuff like I, I will be trying to do them um, I'm going to go watch um, 
Incredibles 2 tomorrow, hopefully. Um, and uh, yeah, I I just I'm just taking taking time off to just finish out my studies and all that. So just stay tuned, um, you know. Uh, but uh, yeah, for full length reactions, I won't be doing on YouTube anymore because the copyright is is too harsh. I'm not gonna play around with that anymore. Uh, I don't want to lose this channel as well. Um, it's just that you know I've worked too hard for this channel, so I'm not gonna lose it again. So I'm not gonna lose it as I lost my first channel. Um, but yeah, I, I do want to see more of Lucifer, and I do want to see more of Gotham. So I hope they, I hope they're, I hope they're gonna come back in the next uh, year, because you know it's hiatus is uh, hiatus season, so. There's not much, um, or sorry, late this year, um, because there's not much, uh, you know, things to watch. Um, and yeah, I will be talking about uh, the man in the high castle in the next episode. So this is it for for this everything in between. Uh, just gonna call it everything in between part one, uh, because I just want to keep it down to like this amount of minutes 10 minutes the max I want to keep it down to so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and uh, please like share subscribe all those good things and make sure to follow me on daily motion for all the full length reactions everything will be there um, I think you can go see my older stuff as well and me being more awkward than I am now uh, but yeah I more on like I have <laughs> lost a bit of my touch here and there but I do I do wanna I do wanna rediscover my love of TV shows and that's why I've been you know and movies as well like I, I have been you know keeping it to myself because I I don't wanna do it if I don't feel like doing it you know what I mean so there you go um, yeah thank you guys again and I will see you guys in the next video see you then